Good morning, everybody. So uh, welcome back to my uh, model uh, video. So today uh, I'm gonna build a Fokker 100. It's a pretty old uh, kit uh, made by Havel in the mid 90s. The scale is 144. So in this one, I have two kits and we will open it. Basically, I order, I collected two kits uh, over the years and I will made I will use some aftermarket decal as uh, these ones have been yellowed and destroyed by the time. So the first one will be, as you can see, um, a Mexican uh, livery uh, and it's pretty colorful, that's why I choose it. It's made by 8 Alpha Dex. It's a Mexican uh, brand and I ordered them. They are pretty nice, very colorful, uh, but a bit fragile to, uh, to, uh, to uh, to slide so you have to apply uh, some extra care on those ones but the result is normally pretty good and then I will do um, a Focus 70 basically uh, Focus 70 is a shorter version of the 100 so I'll have to uh, cut some part of the fuselage and uh, I'll show you that later on and uh, this one is uh, from draw decal and it's uh, a Malev uh, Focus 70 Malev uh, used to be the the Hungarian national flag carrier, but they got bankrupt uh, in the late 90s or early 2000s, if I can recall it correctly. So let's have a quick look on the on the kit, and uh, then we'll uh, start uh, building up. So what we have here basically is uh, the fuselage is composed of. Uh, basically we call that a sandwich it's uh, too hard what I will do later on I will uh, fill up all the windows and apply decals for the, for the windows and of course to keep the balance on the plane I have to uh, exert some uh, some weight and uh, for this I will put some modeling paste we have a couple of uh, clear parts which is basically the cockpit window but I will paint them in gray as well and the nav lights and the landing lights who are located up there on the main landing gear or on the on the nose gear uh, i'll have basically the the half inch for the for the engine the engines are basically uh, i had some issues on the past basically uh, there was a pretty big gap basically between the two half of the fuselage so that's gonna require a bit of uh, extra putty and sanding and uh, you can see the base the pieces and here we have uh, the main wings and the stab that's about it it's a pretty basic kit but the uh, result can be pretty nice uh, if we apply some uh, enough care basically so uh, let's start building some glue now inside the main window okay. all right so we now uh, finished to prepare the parts so I'm gonna glue all the all the engine together some weight so I'm gonna put some modeling paste up front uh, up the nose and then uh, we should be able to uh, close this out now the glue has been curing uh, for quite a while so um, according to what I read and the modification on the kit I have to do um, I have to cut basically 15 millimeters on front of the wings and just past the wings. So uh, I'm gonna do that, cut the, the fuselage and then let it cure and then we're gonna be able to put the, the putty to see how it goes. So uh, first of all what I will do is I will put a 
remarque, on ne fusera jamais la vérité de la journée. fuselage start to curve around that's uh, that was at the really at that part so i'm gonna have to do some filling with some plastic card maybe so uh, now we can uh, we i left uh, all the glue cure overnight so we can see that we have a stable um, i mean uh, the fuselage have been um, quite well done and uh, so I've been looking over uh, the silhouette of uh, the aircraft and the tail is in perfect alignment with the rest of the fuselage so uh, the work was uh, done correctly so now I'm gonna apply some uh, some putty as uh, we're gonna have to make some uh, we're gonna have to uh, adjust the fuselage Sending that's always one of the big parts. So I'm gonna send down the windows and maybe the build filling again until I get the, the right result. Now I'm gonna try to reopen the panel because we had to do uh, that one was filled up with some uh, booty. 